In recent years, video conferencing has become very common. Ideally, when speaking in a video conferencing call, both the camera and microphone should be turned on. But sometimes this may not be possible. For example, it may not always be possible to turn on the camera because one might not be dressed properly or got themselves ready before the meeting starts. Or you may be in a busy office or a cafe and don't want others to hear any of the background noise when you are speaking. This is where the Emoscribe camera comes in handy. It automatically transcribes what you say, even if the camera is off and your microphone is muted. There is no need to share your screen every time. Just switch camera like this. So, multiple people can use this app at the same time. It is very easy to use with any video conferencing tool. By the way, have you noticed that the font of the subtitles changes each time? Actually, the font will automatically change based on your facial expression. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm surprised. Let me explain in detail. Naturally, the input from an ordinary camera is treated as the camera input as is. Emoscribe camera doesn't work that way. First, the Emoscribe camera application uses the camera and audio input to generate subtitle images through processing such as face recognition and automated transcription of speech voice. The application is designed so that the operating system recognizes it as a normal camera input so it is also recognized as a camera by Zoom and other video conferencing tools. Such a system is widely referred to as a virtual camera. So, thanks to this mechanism, Emoscribe camera is able to display subtitles that can communicate emotional information to others, even when your camera and microphone are turned off. To evaluate our system, we conducted an experiment with 24 participants where they discussed their university life in two conditions with Emoscribe camera and Zoom's text chat with their camera and microphone turned off. Our results suggested that the conversations were more lively with Emoscribe camera as indicated by the significantly higher amount of speech as well as participants' interview and questionnaire comments. The participants also experienced a lower subjective workload with our proposed system, while the SUS scores were not significantly different between the two communication methods. That's a good question. SUS stands for System Usability Scale. For our future research directions, please check out our paper.